Hey everyone, my name is CJ and I go to Life Church in Coralville. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about a miracle that has happened in my life. And I just hope that my testimony can help someone in some way. So my mom was diagnosed with a terminal illness in May of 2019. And by that point, my mom was in a lot of pain all the time. So the family, we knew that something was wrong, but to get that diagnosis in May was a gut-wrenching confirmation of, you know, what she was going through. And by that point, I've only been a Christian for about a year. And, you know, being a new Christian, there's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of gratitude because you finally notice all the things that God is doing in your life. And, you know, nothing can go wrong. So when my mom was first diagnosed, it felt like a challenge. It felt like God was testing me. And I think... I went into the went into my automatic Christian reaction, which was, you know, this is God's plan. Everything is in God's plan, and I trust God. And that's what I said for months after that the diagnosis. But the thing with my automatic Christian reaction was that I didn't really buy into it. I think. It was a placeholder. Yeah, I had faith, but I didn't really have as much faith as I should, as I needed to, in God. So over the summer, I got to spend a lot of time that summer with my mom. So I didn't really truly process what her illness meant for the family. When I got back to here in Iowa City from DC where my parents lived, to truly be alone and be far away from her, I think is what kind of drove me to the edge. And by the time September came around, I knew that something was really wrong. I would get these episodes of sadness where I felt like, like I couldn't breathe, like I couldn't function and I was just, absolutely devastated in those moments and for me I'm not a very emotional person so I knew that this was a message this is something from God because throughout that period I tried to hold on to the whole everything is in God's plan therefore I trust God but I don't think I really did. So in September, when things got really, really bad, I reached out to Pastor Carrie here at Life Church because I've known Pastor Carrie and Pastor Rich and the whole fam for about a year now and I felt like I really could trust the church family. And Pastor Carrie and I just met up at a Starbucks, <laughs> it was random Starbucks here in Iowa City. And one of the first things him and I talked about was, well, what is it that I'm praying for right now? And I and I immediately told Pastor Carrie that, well, you know, like her illness can't be cured. There is scientifically no cure that's been invented. And Pastor Carrie processed that and he came back with, well, CJ, why don't you pray for a miracle? And before he said that, Honestly, I've never thought that a miracle could happen just because to me, miracles are something that are in books. Miracles are something that happens to other people. But does it really happen to people like me? And Pastor Kerry went on to say that, you know, our God is full of grace, full of love and full of miracles. And if you ask, you will receive it. And that was something extremely important for me because it's not something I've thought about. So that's what I did. I prayed for a miracle. I prayed for my mom to be healed from her terminal illness every single day from that point forward. 
and here in the year 2020, even though everything is so crazy with everything going on, in February, my mom went in for a checkup and just, you know, checking up on her meds and she did a blood test along with that. And when her blood test came back, everything was normal. I mean, she still has the illness, but it's gotten to the point where the doctors are very, very surprised. They don't understand how she was able to go from what she was in May of 2019 to now. And it's gotten to the point that as long as she continues to take her medication, she will likely be able to live to her natural death versus what we all were preparing for last May. And just being able to say that is absolutely amazing for me because I didn't think it could happen because I didn't really believe. But maybe that's what got meant for me is to give me a miracle and to show me how great, how graceful, how loving he really is. And I hope that if anyone out there is struggling with their faith and is struggling with anything in life that they just give a little faith and ask. And I truly believe that this God that we believe in, that we love, will give you what you need.